Mastering Motherboards, Understanding the Parts A motherboard is a circuit board that serves as a central hub connecting all the major computer components, including the processor, memory, storage devices, keyboard, mouse, and other peripheral devices. Motherboard enables the components to work together, allowing the computer to function properly. Now let's look at some of the main parts of a motherboard. 1. CPU CPU stands for Central Processing Unit. It's the brain of computer because it handles all of the device's decision-making functions like arithmetic and logic operations, memory management, power management, input-output management, scheduling, etc. The CPU socket is a connector that provides a physical connection between the CPU and the motherboard. The socket allows the CPU to communicate with other components of the computer, receive power, and transfer data. Two popular CPUs in the market are, Intel and AMD. 2. RAM Random Access Memory, commonly known as RAM, is a small physical component that temporarily stores the data currently in use by the computer. Once the computer is powered off, the data stored in RAM is erased. RAM's main function is to quickly provide CPU-needed data and instructions. 3. PCI Slots A PCI, Peripheral Component Interconnect, slot is a type of connector on a motherboard that allows the installation of expansion cards in a computer. Expansion cards can add new functionality to a computer, such as a graphics card, sound card, or network card, without having to add or replace the motherboard. If your motherboard only has a limited number of ports and slots for connecting various types of hardware devices, such as graphics cards, AGP ports, you can connect these cards using PCI slots and gain the same advantage as if they were installed on the motherboard. 4. ROM Chip ROM is a type of computer memory that stores data permanently and cannot be erased or modified by the computer. It contains BIOS information that tells the computer how to start and what to do when it starts information, system date time information, CPU speed information, boot sequence information, system date time, etc. 5. North Bridge The North Bridge connects the CPU to high-speed peripherals on a computer motherboard and manages data transfers between them. Modern computers do not have a separate North Bridge as it is integrated into the CPU. 6. South Bridge The South Bridge is a chipset component that manages lower speed peripherals like USB, SATA, and Ethernet controllers, connecting them to the CPU and controlling data transfers. 7. CMOS Battery CMOS is short for Complementary Metal Oxide Semiconductor. It is maintained by a small battery located on the motherboard. It stores various system data like the current system clock, BIOS configuration settings, etc. If the CMOS battery fails, it can cause system errors or malfunctions by corrupting BIOS settings. 8. Pata Pot Pata stands for Parallel Advanced Technology Attachment. It's a 40-pin ribbon cable used to connect mass storage devices like hard disks and optical drives to a computer. 9. SATA Port SATA stands for Serial Advanced Technology Attachment. SATA replaced PATA as the primary interface for storage devices due to its greater speed and efficiency. 10. PS2 Port 
The PS2 port is a circular connector with six pins that were commonly found on older computers for connecting input devices like keyboards and mice. Modern computers do not have PS2 ports. They have been replaced by another interface like USB. Eleven, serial port. Serial ports are the interfaces used to connect peripherals to a computer. Serial port transfer one bit at a time and are okay for slower data transfer devices like modems, mice, and keyboards. They are obsolete now and have been replaced by other interfaces like USB. Twelve, parallel port. The parallel port is a 25-pin connector found on older computer motherboards that allow for fast data transfer to peripherals like printers, scanners, and external storage devices. However, they are now obsolete and have been replaced by newer technologies such as USB. Thirteen, USB port. A USB. Universal Serial Bus Port is a standard interface for connecting a variety of peripherals and devices to a computer, including external hard drives, printers, keyboards, mice, cameras, and smartphones, among others. 14. SCSI Port SCSI port stands for Small Computer System Interface, which is a parallel interface port used for data transmission, which enables faster data transfer than serial interfaces such as RS-232 and USB. They are the older interfaces used to connect hard drives, scanners, and tape drives to a computer. 15. RJ45. RJ45 ports are used to connect network cables to networking devices such as computers, routers, switches, and modems, and are extensively employed in networking. 16. HDMI port. HDMI stands for High Definition Multimedia Interface. It is standard interface which allows for the transfer of high quality audio and video signals between devices using a single cable. Seventeen, audio port. Audio port is used to connect audio devices such as headphones, speakers, microphones. The green jack is used for connecting stereo speakers or headphones. The pink jack is used for connecting a microphone. The blue jack is used for line level input, such as from DVD players, CD players, MP3 players, electric guitars, etc. 18. Capacitor. Capacitor is used in computer motherboards for power regulations. Filtering unwanted frequencies, which may affect the motherboard and other components, they are also used in timing circuits for sending and receiving the signals at the correct time. Nineteen, transistor and MOSFET. Transistors and MOSFETs on motherboards serve three main purposes: switching to control electricity flow, signal amplification, and power regulation.